Hey there, welcome back to an episode of Journey to Kidlet. I'm Brooke Van Sickle, your host as always. Today we're gonna to be looking at dialogue and we're gonna do that using this picture book, which is called I Am Goose, written by Dorothea Rohner. It just came out this year in February of 2020. So if someone has been asking, how do you put dialogue into a picture book? Can you do that? Well, that's what makes this book so special is it's 100% dialogue. So that's why we're gonna look at it today to see how it affects the story in a picture book using dialogue. So this is how the story opens. As you can see, there's just word bubbles here. And it starts with, hey rabbit, can I play? Of course, scoot over fox, make room for goose. Duck, 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 goose. Uh, excuse me, that's a pig. I'm goose. Be patient, goose. You'll get your turn. <laughs> The goose does not understand. He's very irritated and annoyed, and he causes a lot of problems for every animal wanting to play the game. And that arises constantly throughout the story. But then we come to pages that look like this, where it has all these word bubbles, where normally, you know, you'd have a manuscript and you'd have paragraphs or things, but instead Dorothea chose to use 100% dialogue. So this is how she's choosing to move the story forward. And that is by having Goose explain why every other animal is not a goose. And so he starts with saying, a goose has webbed feet. Look at those skinny feet. Chicken can't swim. Chicken is not a goose. A goose has feathers. Fox has fur. No feathers. Fox is not a goose. Look at him. Shell, look at me. No shell. Turtle is not a goose. And then it goes on and on for all the other animals too. And that is how um, Dorothea is able to explain why Goose is right and how Goose is able to try to convince the other animals that he should be the Goose and even though he doesn't understand the whole point of the game, Duck Duck Goose. And then this is how she worked to bring out some of the personality in some of the other animals because that is the goal here with our dialogue. It is to show uniqueness and personality in our stories and to have different in each characters. So we have Rabbit. Will everyone please just, because he's really irate. But I'm here and I still want an answer. Why can't I be it for once? It's been such a long time, Dodo said, because he's extinct. I'm hungry. Can we have snacks? Cluck. Clearly chicken is scared. Psst, fox, want a cricket snack? They taste like chicken. Mmm, can I have one too? Pig obviously likes food. He's a pig. But yeah, so that's how she was able to do that. If you're wanting to incorporate dialogue into your own story, totally good. You can have dialogue in a picture book as much as you want. The goal though, is that you still have to be able to move your story forward. So don't add dialogue, just be like, hey, what's up? Great, how was your day? Wonderful. No, that's, that's filler words. Those are not necessary, cut those out. Uh, what you want to do instead is you need to move the story forward. So how is it going to progress? What are you going to do that's going to take your character from your beginning and get them to the end? You still need to be able to tell a full story arc, which is what Dorothea did, even in using all dialogue, you still have to have a full complete story arc. So if you would like to read the book, I Am Goose, I have a link below in the video for you so that way you can find it. It's a really cute story. And if you would like to learn more about writing children's books or picture books, be sure to check out our website at journeytokidlit.com. We have a ton of different articles for you. And as always, subscribe to our channel so that way you get notified of new videos. But until next time, happy writing!